welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He is good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God. El Elyon El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. He wants to pour that love in your heart, write it on your mind, and keep your heart and mind in perfect peace. He knows how to do that. When we trust him and we don't lean on our own understanding about anything, but we, we come and we bring all the thoughts and all the cares before the Lord. Hmm? We're, we are, are clear as glass. He can see right through us. And he sees right into our hearts. He knows every thought, every emotion. He knows our stubborn will. He knows our, our lazy will. He knows us. And we are not ashamed we give him everything about our heart everything about our mind everything in our conscious being that is exposed to us that we would know about it we do it because he will wash us clean he reminds us of all truth the, the Lord Jesus has gone through this already he's taken the soul to the cross and he nailed it to the cross so that we could go beyond the cross. We can live in the Son and in the Father, and the Father sends His Spirit into our hearts, and His Spirit is teaching us all truths as we walk out the soul salvation of ours, letting the Lord sanctify it, letting Him be what makes you holy. You know, without holiness, no one can enter into the presence of the Lord. We, we can't get there. We can't go into the whatever people call the pearly gates we we're not going to enter into the kingdom of god the kingdom of god is not meat nor drink but it's righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit through the whole by the holy spirit the holy spirit <laughs> the one who's pouring that love into our hearts the one who's causing us to know he's teaching us all things that the word is coming back to our remembrance. It's the word that God called holy. And that Holy Spirit of his is him. It's the Father. It's the Son. The Holy Spirit all in us, in your heart. In your, with your mind, cleansing it from all of its unrighteous ways. Anything that was established in, in the old days when we were in the flesh born into this world without the Lord the Lord is cleansing and he's washing out old thought patterns and bad habits things that drew you away from Christ and poisoned you now he's making you alive he's quickening you with his spirit and that we are able now to to kill every work of the flesh that exalts itself above God worry and fear and anger and in all kinds of uh, ideas that we have in this life confusion hurt pain trouble see it there's no fear in the kingdom of God God's love has made you whole his, his love has made you whole his love is poured into your heart and I just read one of these things today. I want to bring it up real quick. It says here, As I live in God, my love grows more perfect. I can face him with confidence on the day of judgment because I live like Jesus in this world. Well, perfect love, it casts out fear. God, we are living in God's love. Yeah, we love him, but he first loved us, and we know his love because we sit down in the secret place of the Most High. We, we live in the secret place of the Most High. We walk out our breathing, our breathing in, our inhale, and our exhale. It's all in him. We're perfected in the love of God. Therefore, no evil can overtake your soul. It can't have your mind, will, and emotions. It can't put you in a place of, of fear. Fear has torment. 
Torment is in the mind. It's in the way that we think. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but his spirit who tells us all truth. His spirit. He gives me a, a power. A, he gives me power, love, and a sound mind. Now, some people like to say self-discipline. But self-discipline can't start until you have a sound mind, a clear mind. I need a clear mind in order to control my vessel. In order to control my thoughts, I need the thoughts of Christ. The Lord's not leading us into a place of, <laughs> of poverty. He's leading into us into a place of life. I really want to go in on that on this number one declaration here. As I live in God, my love grows more perfect. It, it gets more mature. My love takes wings. My, 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 my heart and the strength of my life is in the one who is. I think I was listening to Joyce yesterday again as I was at the gym. And she kept on talking about God is. This, I mean, the first thing that we need to remember always, at all times, and re keep on reminding ourselves while we're in this world walking through it, God is. Christ has died and rose again. He is. These situations and circumstances, I'm telling you, they will overwhelm you. They will, it's all designed to steal your faith. I know the Lord's in control. Yeah, doesn't look like it, right? But He is. Everything ultimately works together for His good, for the good. For, for Everything ultimately is working to God's end, what He said. We need to rejoice in Him and not in our feelings. We need to hope in Him and not in our feelings. And when I say hope, I mean expectation. I mean great desire for the one who is. For His will in this earth, in our lives. And stop being overwhelmed by the news. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. If it, if it brings you fear and it brings you confusion and torment, whatever, turn it off. If social media is, is going, is taking you in places you got no business, cut it off. Hmm? Put a band-aid, put a piece of tape over your eye or something, but cut it off. And don't let evil rule your heart and mind. If God didn't say it, that's not it. I want him to have control of this vessel, of this mind, will, and emotions. I want the Lord to have his way in me so that he can be glorified. What, what else matters in this world? I mean, we have life forever in Christ. It's been given to us. It's been given to us to have life forever together in Christ. We're going to have, live in a world where there's no sin. This, this stuff is going away. This is not eternity here in this world like this with sin. It's not. We're going to have holiness forever. But we practice it right now. Right this moment, we are taking, we are learning how to live a life without spot and be blameless in this world. We're learning a, a, a way to have peace, keep the peace in our heart. And that all comes from leaning on God and not on our own understanding. Knowing who He is. Well, I hope I said everything right I, I never know I just trust the Lord that he's working through me to speak to our hearts so that we're not overwhelmed by the situations and circumstances of this life so many people are being washed away down the down the river and I don't mean a good river I mean a polluted river that where all this stuff is overwhelming their heart and mind and they end up in fear and fall away from the faith one Jesus, Jesus, one Jesus is coming back. Two, we're going to meet Christ in the air. Maybe that was number one. We're going to meet Christ in the air. This is all a temporary situation. I 
I have a friend that I just heard about. I haven't seen her in a while, and I, I did wonder about her. I didn't say anything, you know, but I just found out that she's having a lot of mind troubles. She's, she, don't, she doesn't even want to come to church anymore. And this is a person that was really on fire for the Lord. Her testimony of how she got saved and, and what brought her, you know, brought her into praying for other people. I mean, she, we, we cast devils out of people together. I saw as an operation and I saw her passion. And now she's sitting at home angry and just not not just she's just not and it and I, I've been praying for her lately but there's we don't need to be washed away by the situations and circumstances of this world the diseases and the viruses that are going to go through it's written in the Bible that there is going to be all this stuff in the world and it's going to get worse than this. Okay. If we would read our word, we'd know. If we pour all our heart out before the Lord, our God, and, and let, us, let him give us the wisdom and knowledge we need right now, we'll be strong in the Lord and we'll get up and go on in the faith. This is all about soul salvation. It's not just our soul salvation, but it's the salvation of the whole world. What do I desire most? I desire that we all be saved. That none of us would be lost. I remember a vision the Lord gave me when I was 11 years old. I was always, I'm like Jeremiah. <laughs> okay. Jeremiah was like, I'm a child. What can I do with this? You know, well, how can I do anything about this? And the Lord says, don't say that I'm a child. But I didn't learn that verse until, you know, way later. Anyway, <laughs> when I was 11 years old, he gave me a vision of, and I live in Rochester, New York, so he gave me a vision of my, of downtown, so this could be anywhere, right? And downtown was all tore up. I mean, like somebody came and went with a bomb and just blasted everything. And there was an angel sitting on top of, he was like on top to the side of this big, huge building that had it had been blown up but it looked more like a mountain with a big number going across it and he said the number must come up and he pointed at me and I was 11 years old you don't know what to do with that but I believe that it's for such a time as this so many of us are falling away from the Lord because of rejection and hurt and pain that is in our lives. So many of us have, have lost control of our senses because of what somebody else close to us has done. See, I'm so grateful to love the Lord my God with all of my heart, with all of my mind, and with all of my strength that even when I was to the last thread and, and there was like, like a thread, when I say a thread, I mean the thread of the word I couldn't even remember the word. And it was getting to those last bits. And I was really holding on. And I felt like, Lord, w are you going to lose me for this situation? Are you going to lose me over this? It's something I wrote down today. When it's not your fault. Now, I'll never say that we are completely innocent or I am completely innocent but I wrote this down because I was reading a scripture and this just this word I was, I was reading some declarations and this word it just kept coming back to me when it's not your fault I was thinking about it again yesterday how Lord I need your strength See, the Lord's our light and our salvation. He's the strength of our lives, and yet we, we hold ourselves some type of guilty. We hold ourselves ashamed. We think that we're not worth it. 
something in your life is speaking to you in a way that has got you bound, bent over. Now I'm telling you, the Lord is rejoicing over you. Lord, he, he is the strength of our lives. And, I, and though I had no words for how I was feeling, all I know is that, all I knew is that I, I just desire his presence. I desire to know him and not be moved away in my mind about whoever's doing what. And whatever's before my eyes at the current moment, whatever the world is doing, whatever's being projected by anyone else, the Lord is the strength of my life. I needed his strength, his wisdom. The power of God is living on the inside of each and every one of us to bring us to the successful land that God has desired of our lives. I want his will to be my will. And that means submitting your whole heart, your mind, will, and emotions, your soul to God, to the word. It's not just reading the Bible. It's not just reading. But it's as we're walking through this place that we acknowledge him. And it's not, it's not just, oh, lifting up a hand and praising the Lord. That's, that's mighty. That's really good. That's good. Don't stop doing that. But it's submitting this weakness to him or this, this doing it in your own strength to him. What, how, whatever we are and however we, we feel on the inner part of us, it needs to lie down before the Lord so that it can become his will, his strength, his wisdom. His knowledge flowing through us. We are his representatives, the representatives of Jesus in this world. And he's given us, he's given us all grace. Yeah, everything that we need in the spirit to walk and be what we are in the face of others who don't believe, in the face of others who say I, they do believe, and yet, yet, you know, they keep on going in their own way. We're not moved and we're not fearful and afraid. We're not angry or bitter or resentful for what anyone else is doing. We are in love with the one who loves us and is rejoicing over us. This is a scripture that came to mind because of uh, one of the declarations I was reading. I'll read the declaration first and then go to the scripture. The Lord is my God. He is mighty to save. He rejoices over me with gladness and singing. I am quieted by his love. Zephaniah 3, 17 is what we're going to look at. But we, I, he, I am quieted. We are quieted by the love of God. And to hear that, again, I've heard this in a prophecy about myself, that the Lord is rejoicing over me. And it makes me feel glad in my heart that the Lord is thinking about me. He's thinking about you. He's rejoicing over you. He wants to pour his love into your heart so that you can be that fantastic new being that he called you to be. He created you to be. He called you to be. When, we, when he calls, we answer with all of our heart, with all of our soul, and with all of our strength we we answer but then there's this there's this unforced <laughs> there's this forced rhythm that comes by the world to distract you or maybe I shouldn't have said it like the, the the distractor comes to distract the thief comes in to break in and steal so that your thoughts are over there your feelings are over there or should I say the feelings are up here because the feelings rise and you want to do something about it. But Jesus has come and said that he has given us life and life more abundantly. And when we receive what he said, even though we don't physically see it, 
we get the power of the highest on the inside of us that rises up and surges out and soon we are walking out a kingdom experience in this life he's not giving us a spirit of fear he gave us his spirit of power love and a sound mind i love the sound mind i'll keep it thank you very much i'm not ever going to let it go again nothing will terrify me like that again greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world submit to god and i'm telling you he's going to work all the situations out together for our good so that we can you know look to him and and honor him by showing self what salvation is really like in this world I want to look like salvation. Think about that one. We want to look like salvation. For the Lord your God is living among you. He is mighty. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. He rejoices over you with gladness. With his love, we he will calm all your fears. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. I'm telling you, the Lord loves you with a true agape love. Relax. Let him pour it out into your heart. Trust him today. For he's working in you his will to do his will. Just trust him and believe him today. Let him in. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson. I get the word in your face international. Get the word in your face. Love God because I'm telling you, he loves you. He loves you. Bye-bye.